Okay, so I have a lot of updates, but honestly, I don't even know where to start. Oh man, my life has completely flipped. It only took three days. And I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but you can tell I'm in a different car. Here, I'll show you. I used to have a little 1994 Toyota Corolla. And this is a friend's car that uh, they're letting me use, but I'll get to that in a minute. So I guess I'll just start from the beginning. Um, July 15th, I decided to take a little spontaneous road trip to Chicago. My best friend back in Arizona, he was visiting Chicago for his birthday. And so I just said, screw it, you know, I, I'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you take the knife? I'm not supposed to have these. <laughs> so July 17th was Kevin's birthday and we went to Wrigley Field and we had fun and I hung out for a little bit, but then we parted ways. But I decided to take the last train into the city. So all that happened, so I start driving home after that, which was like, I don't know, 11 p.m., maybe midnight. So I started driving home. All right, so I'm back in my car. Just caught the last train back here, and uh, now I got a six-hour drive back to Michigan. I'm a tid, I'm a tid bit, I'm a tid bit tired, but that's okay. It was completely 100% worth it. Everything's going good. Everything's going good until I get about two hours away from my main stomping grounds, you know? And all of a sudden, I start seeing smoke coming out from the front of my hood. Definitely screwed. There's like smoke I see. Oh my God. So that happened, and I'm trying to figure out what is wrong, like what happened? Good thing there's such a thing as uh, Google. And I, I finally noticed that my temperature gauge is all the way above, it's all the way at hot, the highest it can go. It's very embarrassing to say it, but I overheated my car. So I stopped on the side of the road and uh, my car wouldn't start. I lifted up the hood and this happened. Here where I found where the smoke is coming from. So there's coolant everywhere on the inside of my hood. See, it's like everywhere. All over there, all over there. My car still doesn't start. And I sit there for a long time. I destroyed my car. Ugh. It sucked really bad. I was stranded on the side of the road two hours away. And I sat there for like eight hours until my... My good friend Alex picked me up. I had to leave my car there. I had no other choice. I had no money. I had to work in the morning. And it was two hours away. I mean, fuck. So that was July 18th. And the next day I had to work. So my buddy Alex just dropped me off at the smoke shack. I work at a smoke shack. I ended up falling asleep there. But, I mean, I don't know how I'm going to get back to my car. I still have a whole bunch of stuff in my car. Is my car even still there? Like, did, did it get towed already? Like, and I had no idea what I was going to do. I mean, that was everything that I had. I was living in my car. My car had literally pretty much everything that I owned in it. It was the most important thing to me at the time. It's what, it's what kept me safe and sheltered, you know? It was everything. I had no idea what I was gonna do, and and it was my birthday. <laughs> and then it kept getting worse. 12.55. Today just keeps getting better and better. By the minute. This thing has all my pictures I've ever took. All the clips I shot in Chicago, all the clips I ever took, pretty much. It has completely stopped working. And that crushed me. It 
Oh, I'm still mad about it to this day. Sorry, it's getting dark really quick, but check this flower out. Anyways, hard drive broken, car broke down on the side of the road two hours away. Have no idea how I'm gonna get to it or what I'm gonna do with it. The engine is blown, I have to get a new engine. In the morning, I went back to work. The owner ended up coming in and pretty much he bitched me out. He said I was slacking a lot. He said he accused me of stealing, which is all bullshit. He said I was sleeping for like five or six hours and counting it as my hours so they pay me for that, which is completely untrue. He was just ripping into me, he started getting personal. He's like, you're buying cameras and laptops and you still have loans. And I'm like, first of all, I didn't buy this camera. A friend is letting me use it, you fucking idiot. Like, God damn it, you don't know what you're talking about. I really hate that. I hate it when somebody gets personal when they don't know what they're talking about. So, you know, that really grinded my gears. Why don't you just fucking fire me then? Like, honestly. And he's like, well, maybe we should, but I'm gonna start coming in here and and we're gonna get this place running or I'm gonna close the doors. Like, I give a shit. Like, I care if they're gonna close their doors or not. They have the place up for sale anyway. I was on my way out anyway. So I said, why don't you just fire me? Honestly, I'd rather you fire me right fucking now. I'm done with this. And he's like, all right, just pretty much finish up what you're doing and leave. And I was like, that sounds perfect. And so that's exactly what I did. So to recap, July 18th, day before my birthday, car breaks down two hours away, have to leave it, can't do anything about it, needs a new engine. July 19th, my birthday, my hard drive broke, everything on it gone. And July 20th, the day after my birthday, I quit slash get fired from my job. Three days. All that happened in three days. My life completely flipped upside down in three fucking days. And I was already living in my car like, ah, I thought I was at the lowest I could go. But no, nope, it fucking happened so fast. It's funny, it's crazy how fast everything can change. You know, I'm talking right now, and honestly, I'm all for one to like, do whatever you have to do to succeed. And, and that doesn't mean get rich and succeed with a lot of money, but succeed at whatever you're trying to do, whatever you want out of this world. Do whatever it takes to get it. And I'm a big hardcore advocate for that, but in the moment that all that was happening, it's really hard. And I get it, I understand. It's really hard to keep that mindset. And there are times where I was freaking out that I don't, I did record it, but I'm, I don't think I'm gonna put it on YouTube. I did record some of my freakouts, but it's really hard to keep, stay in that mindset when all of this bullshit is happening, when everything is just slamming into the ground. It's overwhelming, and I'm, I'm, I'm alone out here. Like, I have no family out here to fall back on. Like, luckily, I have two, one or two really good friends out here that have really helped me, and I'm so grateful for that. So all that happened, I was freaking out, I didn't know what to do, so July 20th, the same day I, get, I quit slash get fired, uh, my good friend David that I knew from back in Arizona, uh, he took me two hours away to my car, which was still sitting there on the side of the road. And we got there and I emptied it out, I got all of my stuff out, which was a lot of stuff. So I ended up getting it towed to the nearest scrapyard, which was all of my money that I had. Like all of it. And I ended up scrapping my car for like $180.
I did it. I scrapped my car. I don't know what I would have done without my two friends. Like, honestly, I don't. I have nobody out here. Sometimes it gets really lonely, but... So this car, my good friend Alex, he offered to let me use this car, him and his wife. They had this extra car, but it was like three, it was like four hours away downstate in his old hometown. And we drove four hours just to get this car and so I can use it. You don't understand how grateful I am for that. I don't even know how to show it, how to explain it, but it means everything to me. That car was everything to me. Alex doing that, man, is a huge deal for me. It always will be, I'll never forget that. And that's my story. That's my update. So that's it. I'm sorry this was a little long, it's just a little update. Shut up! The birds, I mean birds, fuck. The bugs are chirping now. I don't even know if you can hear it, maybe. And also, like right down there, right behind you guys, behind these trees, there's a Polish festival going on, and it's really loud. I'm sure you probably have heard it since I've been talking, but uh, I think I'm gonna end it here. That's my update, that's where I'm at in life. Uh, and it just sucked how fast everything has changed. Sometimes life hits you hard. I know sometimes it's hard to get back up or to start thinking positively, but if you want something bad enough, it doesn't matter what happens, you're still gonna fucking get it. It's motivation, it's how bad you want it.